after a year off due to some failed attempts of trying to find the games open, we are here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg, and I'm pleased to say that a good chunk of the games are open today. It looks like they've moved some around. So I'm finally excited that we're going to play this. It's been a while. Looks like they've got some new games. Thank you so much to our friends at the mini golf course who told us that there were some new games here. We're excited to check them out. Looks like some good prizes. I see at least one game with Squishmallows. So uh, fingers crossed here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. I cannot believe that we're seeing the park with <laughs> HP Leisure Games, and they're actually calling this Bushel Basket. It's always Lobster it's Pot. It's always Lobster Pot. And it's so as weird. a side note, it's not even Bushel Basket, it's Tub Toss. Bushel Basket is when it's like the wooden bushels. This is going to be the same game you guys are familiar with. You need to throw two out of two balls into the tub to win a prize. That's how all of their games operate. Um, so we've gone ahead, it's not listed here, but we've gotten the eight games for 20. They typically offer that, I would say 90% of the time um, that we've asked. So always ask to see if there's a better game uh, deal on there. And um, anything else you want to tell us? I don't think so. Just make sure your foul line, like we always say, just step back, make sure you're good and you're not going to cross that. Okay. Which tub are you going in? i uh, probably go in this one right here, the second okay. one in from the right. Let's see. You good? Yeah, we're good. Oh, that They're was very close. close. Very close. So that right. one was a little bit hard and came out. So now this one doesn't count. No, um, it's just front. good practice. Okay. Okay, so that was game one. Thank you. Okay. Okay, a beautiful, beautiful one. So he has to get this one to win. And yes, he did it. <laughs> game two. Thank you. Thank you. Oh wow! Wow, the crowd goes the, wild. The applause here. Do you have the Snorlax? We've never seen the Snorlax do this one. It's usually almost always like the Pikachus and the Gengars. Yes. So, what's the trick? Okay, so the trick here is you don't want to hit the back of the tub. I kind of went a little bit on the side, on the front rim with the side spin on it. You got to put a little bit of spin on it, otherwise oh, it's just going to bounce okay. out. He's got a whole crowd here. Look at that. Thank big you so winner. much. And so now we have to see this. if I can play out the rest of them. We have six more games, so you're on now. You want to take the ball out? Okay. Thank you. Katie is on now. Oh, yeah. Very nice asking. Make sure that ball was out of there. <laughs> She's got her line up here. Yeah, I always check to make sure I'm not behind the foul one because I'm notorious for accidentally crossing it, so I'm careful. <laughs> oh, that was close, a little bit farther back. Oop. <laughs> it's okay, the first game's always practice. I missed on my first game Thank too. Thank you. Oh, that one was, that was that close. One, that one was close. Oh, that was, that was robbed on that one. Okay, it's all right. Thank this you. This game number five of eight. That was in. That was in. Oh Make one more. Come on. Oh. oh, that one was so close right up that front lip. Okay. Oh, this is a tricky one. Oh, that was a bad one. Oh. I always like in that second practice. Oh, see, that one, it just like keeps coming right out. It should stay How in there. How many more do I have? Two more. Yeah, two more games. Okay. Good asking, though. It's always good to know. That's what I'm. Oh, oh, that was so close. I thought that one was. I watched that go in. Oh man, is this the last one? This is my last one. Thank you. No worries. We've already won, so it's no stress. That's oh. You can't keep saying I it. Know, I know. I just get so excited. I think you're gonna get it. Uh, no worries. It's <laughs> no, okay. I, Remember uh, Snorlax. Yes. No. I never do well when there's a crowd. We know that very well. <laughs> Okay, so it. no cross throwing no here, cross -throwing. and the foul line is this red line. Um, I do want to note that the bases for this block buster are set up as a yeah. square and not as a diamond. Not a diamond and they're setting up the blocks in the center of the platform. Always good to we know. We haven't really seen anything that changes too much about the strategy, but right. it's interesting that across this brand we don't see any consistency yeah, on this Some of them have it turned on like a 45 degree angle, some of them don't. So it's always good to know. Yeah, but I like the peppers. They're famous for the bananas, but I like the peppers. True, okay. so. It's the front counter, honestly, I don't I don't think I've ever like stepped up too far on a blockbuster yeah. anyway. So okay, I'm gonna start on this one and with the K on top. Okay. For Katie, right? <laughs> Thanks. Oh, too low. Okay, that's okay. I gotta get the first one I out. Know, of I gotta the get way. the first one. I gotta I gotta get the feel of the bean yes. bag. Whoa! That was honestly good though. So what he's done is he's tried to hit that bottom block there. Um, kind of hit between, between the, the, the two bottom yeah. ones. Yeah, okay. but he, he got the bottom one there. Ooh, e. oh, I didn't like how loud that was. Yeah, at least it's not like a loose metal plate behind oh it. Oh my gosh, sometimes those, those metal so plates are loud. so killer. Oh, 
Okay, so we knocked those bottom two out, and that's what you're going to see a lot, especially when you hit those bottom two. That top one's going to fall straight down into the middle. Okay. Not throw so hard? Okay, little kid throw. We'll try it. Uh, but I threw it too high because I threw too light, so I went too high. Yeah, I will. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, See that top that lock painful. still. Painful. All right, we got two more tries. It's okay. okay. You're doing a really good job, though. You've had a lot of really good ones. Thank you. Well, all it takes is one, so we got two tries. Oh, so that, that was, was actually the, the top one. two, and the bottom one stayed yeah, on Yeah, the bottom there. one stayed. All right, this is it. Oh, man. Completely oblivious. Oh, it's that top <laughs> block still. Oh, well, man. Was, oh, well. really good. I think we're okay. Thank you, though. 10 for 20, that's a good deal, but... No, we do not need a giant pepper. We have so many already. That's true. <laughs> Okay, and another one that we have not seen open in the last couple of years that we've been here is the cat rack. And you know, we usually say cat rack or down the clown, but this one finally is a cat rack yeah, with finally. cats. I feel like we've never actually seen one on the channel, a real cat cat rack. <laughs> so this one is similar to the top toss where you have to get two out of two. One game is two balls. You have to knock down two cats with those two balls. And then they actually have prizing levels, so it's not even like you win once, you win choice. They have both a medium and a large level, so it looks like you have to trade up two of those to get a larger prize. That's a tough one. I don't think we're gonna play this today, but of course I do respect the cats. Okay, so we have the Thai rolling and toss, which has actually changed since the last time we've been here and played this game. Yes. It was just a regular goblet toss with Pokemon prizes. Now we have possibly the most confusing game in the lineup of games for HB Leisure, which is the colors match the holes. Well, look at this, guys. Like, you we have need multiple to have colors. like a graphics design degree to tell the difference green, between green, these two. Green, green, pink, pink, blue, blue. I, and it also doesn't super match up to the colors on the board, but we have eight balls for $20. If you make it into one of those colors, you get the prize, trade up three for the next size prize. Okay. Katie, you're going to play. Okay, so we've done that um, 8 for 20, and yep. so I'm going to keep an eye out. The to medium see what we and get. large are Squishmallows, the small is not. Yeah, I think it's a ball. It's like a rubber ball, yes. Okay. Okay, so Katie's going to play. Other people are going to be playing, so we're going to try to keep an eye on Katie's ball and see which one's which. So she's got the yellow one. This one does not have an edge to it, so it can roll straight off just like that. That was light, too. Yeah, light, and you're definitely going to want some backspin to have a bounce on it. Look at that. Let's hope it stays on. Thank you guys a yellow, which is a small. Okay, we got one small. That's a win already, though, so we need two more of those to trade up to a medium. Oh, oh yep, and that's a second small. Okay, look at that. One more, you can trade up to a medium prize. Perfect. Okay, let's hope we can do it. Go ahead and take it off the board. All right, I like it. Yeah, we keep it clean on the board. Oh, we almost had a collision. That could help us, though. And. Is that small? That's three smalls. So I'm up to a medium. Well, is that three in a row for you, yes. one-wise? Okay, so you're up to a medium. Okay. So if you get two more mediums, you can trade up to a large. Okay. But I think you've gotten your throw down now, though. Yeah, oh, but there's a, oh, lot, there's of a balls lot going on. Out. It's going to stay in the middle. Somebody oh. stalemated. No way. Wow. No way. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, I'm going to throw one of mine. I've got the blue one here. Okay, so you have one medium out at this point. Ooh, look at that. And another small. Okay. One medium, one small. This is a lot of math here that I'm thinking okay, this I'm is gonna be nuts. To, I'm trying to not hit anyone else's ball like I did. Okay, I have a right? red one coming in. Oh, oh, oh that off. was really close. All right, you have three more balls left. Okay, this one's gonna be blue. This one's gonna be blue, the ball itself. Come on, don't go, don't go. <laughs> oh, it did roll off that left side. Okay, I've got a red one. Oh man, all of them went off just then. Oh no. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, stay on. And, okay. That's two smalls. Oh, okay. you have one ball up. You have one medium and two smalls at this point. Okay. You have to get this one to get another medium. No pressure at all, though. Come on, stay on, stay on. Oh, man. A medium and two smalls, okay. So the mediums are along the wall. Okay. Um, let's do the cell phone, please. Hey, hey, look at that. <laughs> and then we're going to get two smalls as well. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, can we trade these up later if we play again and we get another small? If we play again and get a third small, you can trade it to another medium. 
Perfect. Cool. Okay, well, that's great to know. Also, sometimes we just pass these off to people that are playing so that they can trade theirs up. If they get one small, they can give them two of those and they can get one of these Squishmallows. But good job, Kitty. I can't believe you won five times in your eight balls. Okay, we decided that this was actually really fun, albeit confusing. Like, I'm glad that we have time to be like, okay, this color, this color. Um, <laughs> this is a two-person game. Like, you need one person to play and one person to keep track. True. But it was really fun. So Spencer's going to play again. We paid $20 again, um, so you have to know it was fun for us um, to pay $20. Um, and we've gotten eight balls, so let's see how Spencer And we're does. all blue balls this time. Okay, so that'll be see. easier. All right, I have to try to get you what you did. I really light, really light. Oh. That was too light. Oh my gosh, it almost landed outside. Okay, so not what you, well, not what I was doing I wasn't there. doing as much backspin, Okay. Though. That's going to go off the board. Oh no. Okay, if I don't get it in this next one, I'm just going to give you the, last, the se okay. second round of this, because you got so many, and if I can't win in the first four, yeah, no, okay. you're taking this back. <laughs> I, I can't lose every single ball here. I don't know how you got so many. Let me get on this side of you again. Oh. Uh, <laughs> maybe these these blue ones are trickier. Man, this is a little crazy, actually. Oh, oh. no, we struck balls. Oh, man. Oh, oh thank okay, you. <laughs> I think it was our ball back because we struck balls. They got a nice small prize there, but we lost that one. Yeah. That was, I appreciate getting that ball back, I though. think it helped them. There's, I think it, it would have gone off. It would have, yes. Okay, I'm gonna, she's got one left. I'm going to let her finish because right, we're right across from each other. Oh. oh. Let's see, that should make it in something. Oh, oh an orange, which is a medium, so that good for her. All right, Katie. Oh, man, I should be playing whatever she's doing. Yeah, right? Uh, this looks good. No way. Oh, man. I'm We're in gonna trouble. have to take back my recommendation. <laughs> you got some great bounces at first. Oh, yellow, okay, so that's a small. Okay, okay so now yay. we at least got a second medium here overall. Okay. We have one small this game, though. Oh, come on, something good. Oh, oh, oh that's so close. another oh. small. Man, we're so close to a larger prize. Yeah. Okay, so we got two mediums. We got five mediums, the first, uh, five small the first game. Mm -hmm. We got two smalls the second game. Man, wow, well, I, I it's because I did high, that first high four. To a kind of it's because I did that. Okay, so, okay, so um, trade I'll that one. do the, um, the turtle with the boba, please. The turtle with the boba. Or iced coffee, perhaps it is. Oh, I think it's iced coffee. Yes. You're right. Yeah, the dragon has the boba. Very I cute. I think I need an iced coffee after this. <laughs> okay, quick correction that we talked about on that cat record. There was actually a small prize. If you won one time, you got that same tiny little rubber ball that we did at the Goblet Toss style game. You could end up with a lot of those. You could end up with a lot of those today. Two wins was the small How to Train Your Dragon. Three wins was the large ones. So, or was it even three? It could have been four. I don't even know if you needed two of them. I have no <laughs> idea how this works. But uh, regardless, we're gonna move on to the next section of games, but we did want to show the arcade. We had filmed a full video here previously, a couple years ago, um, but the claws here are notoriously difficult. And not only are they difficult, but like, there's not even anything in this one. So it's a fun arcade. It's a good little respite from the heat. It has good AC. Has great AC. And there's a nice little variety of instant redemption, then a couple of arcade style games like racing. I don't think we're gonna play anything here today. Uh, we just never, ever had any luck on these games before. <laughs> okay, so we actually have a huge games update over here across from Apollo's Chariot. This previously was a three-point challenge basketball. A very popular three-point challenge. Very popular three-point challenge basketball. Then they took that out and they placed it with these medium shots. Now, the medium shots have been redone this year again because they were previously just using the three-point challenge backdrop. They're now Pantheon hoops, very cute with the new Pantheon coaster that just opened last year. And they've added Pantheon Rebound, which is a bankable game. So We're seeing this go in at a lot of parks. Yeah, oh, you can actually see the ground is still laid out for like the three-point three point challenge court. <laughs> so uh, exciting to see this because the Pantheon Hoops did not look very good last year. So this is actually a much needed update for this area. And I like that they added the Mega Ball. When we were in the other section, I said, why don't they have Mega Ball? That's weird they didn't put that in over there. They were listening to you. They did. They put it in actually in the last five minutes that it took for me to walk down here. Okay, so we've got Can Smash, Pyramid Smash. It is called Pyramid Smash yes. here. Um, and we've gone ahead and pay uh, three, $10 for three throws here. They did have the eight for 20 deal. Um, but I'm not super in love with these prizes. You guys know we, we win them, we all win them pretty often. They are foam, so they're harder for us to donate. Um, small, um, once again, not displayed, but it is a Pokeball here. Like that. Medium is going to be the uh, smaller Pikachu or the Gengar. And then there's a larger Pikachu or Charmander for large. Um, and, you know, it's just one off for small, two for medium, three for large. Pretty straightforward. I like that. Very easy. 
easy, very easy structure here. Okay, so my foul line is countered. So my shoulder can't cross it? Yeah, the rest of your arm is good, just no shoulder. I like that too. Okay. Okay, so there is um, not really the little block in the middle. I know we talk about that sometimes. Yeah, it's just a metal here. thing so they so line it up the same Right, and I like that. I do appreciate that. Okay, let's see. The gap is your sweet spot. Oh, oh I hit the wood. It was a little low, but it was really close. And the good news is, is this is a thin rail, so the, the cans do they roll can off. They can roll off, hate yeah. the carpet, you guys. I know, I the, carpet the carpet ones are bad. The carpet here. Yay! Yay! Look at one that. One time for the medium! Okay. okay. Yeah, this one is actually one of my favorite pyramid smashes it around is. the country. Oh, I enjoy this upgrade. one. Oh, that was too low again. It's okay, it's okay. Do you guys want to play again? I think we'll stick with the Pokeball. Yes. Do you guys want to play again this time? I can help you guys buy games. Oh, it's a good deal. I think we're going to stick with this, though. Yeah, Thank you, so they're though. offering five for 10. And that's interesting because eight for 20 was the original deal, which does line up. That's cool, so yeah. it makes sense. That I like that we that. have that option. They're able to do that for us. But I actually like our little Pokeball. Is it soft? Have, it is soft, yeah. Oh, so I prefer it. Yeah, we actually haven't walked away with one of these in a long time, so that's really cool. OK, right next door to Pyramid Smash, we have Pillage Balloons, which is a balloon pop game. Another favorite. Another favorite. And this guy, you can, I'll show it here because it's easy to see. So behind every single balloon, there is a little chip with a number on it. And that, you pop the balloon, you get three balloons for $10 or eight balloons for 20. And that's not three bean bags, that's three balloons. We did pop. clarify, always we did ask clarify. you guys. And so see these numbers here, however many points your chips add up to. But we like that this is a great game for kids because you do get however many balloons you pay for. It's we not just balls. We win every time game. Win every time, the name is literally right there. Okay, so Katie, you're gonna go for it. We yeah. did pretty well at this the last time that we played this game. Oh. Which one are you going for? I don't know. He's going to give it back to me. Thank you. <laughs> there yeah. you go. A two. Go high. Go high. Oh, my gosh. Ah! Oh. Oh, the balloon bits one. came oh, out. One. Okay, so that's three. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I hit Captain Marble. She's going to be mad at me. Thank you. No. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so it's sorry. stuck up there. Okay, maybe don't go high. Okay, I won't go high anymore. Yeah. <laughs> okay, four. Okay, well, where are you big values? Where are the big values at? That's why I was saying go high. I got one. That's another one. So we're at five. Okay, help help me. Um, The red one, the red one. Oh, no. shoot. There's a beanbag up there already, too. Someone else is trying to do what I did. Ah! Oh, seven. No, it's a, t oh, you're doing my total score. I I'm was doing, like, that's a two. No, I'm doing your total score. Bro. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go. So that was your fifth beanbag, right? Or your fifth balloon pop? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, a two, so that's a nine. So you're officially at the large level. Okay, right, this so is you, very fun. So I'm going all over. I have to get 16 now, so you need seven more points. I can't read it. It's a two. Okay, 11. All right, you got one, one more beanbag. You have to get. Five points. You'd have to get five points in this one bean bag. To get, uh, to get a, a giant? A giant, yes. You're automatically at a large. Okay, where should I go? I like that pink one right under the left duck. Okay. Oh! <laughs> it's a two. two. Wow. Oh, you got 13. You got Yay! 13, good job. Oh, so you can choose from our s'mores. Got mini, mini well, we got oh, those are cute. On the those are, these, I would say these are some of my favorite prizes here. I do really want a s'mores. Uh -huh. um, so now we have to discuss which s'mores, like how do you cook your s'mores? You know, are you like a burnt s'mores or like a regular s'mores? I think we'll go, no, I, I like this one, the very excited one. Yes, please. I usually unintentionally burn my s'mores, but there you yeah. go, Katie. Good job. You got your s'mores. And we did like that. So it was the three balloons for 10 or eight balloons for 20. If you did the eight balloons for 20, you are guaranteed at least the s'mores I because of the math. Because at least you're going to get one on every one, and that's eight to 15. So nicely done. Added to our big bag of goodies there. Please don't relax. Already taking a nap over here. Yeah, good night, Snow Relax. OK, we came over here to Pantheon Rebound. Um, we've done the three balls for 10, but he was nice enough to give us um, four. So we could do two and two. I might give mine to Spencer if he's doing better. I'm really on my high from the balloon game here. Um, so these are actually tilted back a little bit more than we've seen. And I'm going to vote like just without playing yet that it's a good thing. Um, it looks like you can kind of um, 
like use like a ski ball technique, if you will. That's what our attendant has given us a tip and trick to kind of um, almost hit the top there to have yeah. it come back in. So this is going to be a new technique for us. Um, but I, I like the variety. I'm going to just say it. I don't know why. Yeah, it's different. It's different. It's seen it so laid back. Our foul line is up here and it's a hand. Okay. Hand cannot cross foul line. So you got to be pretty decently back here. So yeah, I'm going to try to do it. Like you said, it's going to be like an underhand roll it off the fingers near the top of the board, but it cannot touch anywhere in the black oh, or it's a loss. Why did I not mention that? You can't touch the stick and you cannot touch the black anywhere okay, on the so board. Okay, so it's gotta hit uh, within that white frame. Okay, put a little pressure on it, okay. Oh, oh that was like really that, close. okay. Okay, okay, he's feeling, I'm feeling good at least that you're doing a good job. Oh my oh, God. Oh, really? almost in the little bucket. Wow, okay, all right. Are you ready? Yeah. No! Oh, oh my gosh! gosh. Oh. I wonder if he keeps going to the left, if you should try like Go a little, little bit, bit to on the right. right Just, you know? Yeah, stay in front of the same board, but a little bit higher, okay. Oh, that wasn't. Oh, oh man. Oh, that was so close. Oh man. That was really good though. So, um, I agree. I still like this version of the game, yes. even though we didn't win. That's quite all right. Oh. Um, but I like this version of the game. I, you know, we never played the three-point challenge, so this obviously works out better for us, and it's really beautiful. It's really cool. Okay, well, that's a wrap on Bush Gardens Williamsburg. And I'm going to be honest with you, this visit was kind of all over the place. We had some high highs and low lows here. We had a lot of fun in the Apollo's Chariot area, um, especially at that balloon game. Um, Can Smash was pretty fun. And then we had a, just a wonderful time at Bankable, which is why you see this prize behind me. We were literally just talking to the game attendant afterwards um, just because we were having a good time. And we were like, oh, we're having such a good time. We're genuinely going to play again. So keep an eye out because that'll be on YouTube shorts. Again, winning Squishmallows is a huge um, hit as well. We did have a small um, interaction with one of the employees here that unfortunately left on a little sour note, um, but that was resolved here, so we are not gonna go into any more depth about that. Um, so I still have to give this place mixed, mixed recommendations. Some of the games are very fun. They never seem to open um, all the time here, and some of the games are a little overpriced and not as fun. Um, so take this with what you want, and I would say if you're coming here and you're in the area, play the games, but I wouldn't make a trip out of your way for Busch Gardens Williamsburg games.